In today's video, I'm going to quickly try to explain to you how to unlock the brand new schematics that we have inside of Modern Warfare Zombies Season 2 Reloaded. That being the blood burner keys, the mags of holding, and lastly, the VR11 schematic. One thing I will say is, it's actually super easy to complete this, but I will recommend to play with people. So if you have friends, join up with them. And if you don't, we do have a Discord server linked down in the description, which has over 4,000 members in it. And there's 100% someone that will be willing to help you out. Or just go down to the comments and find someone. So first of all, what you want to do is complete the brand new Mission, which is actually super easy and you can complete it solo super fast all you need from here is the brand new drum item keep this in your inventory from here you want to go back and complete the exact same mission but before you finish it you have to get three different items firstly the boxing gloves that you can get from the boat that is directly behind you just follow the exact same path that i'm taking and you'll be able to complete this challenge which requires you to get melee kills to essentially fill up this pillar now you will be able to get an insta kill but another thing that i do recommend for you to do is spawn it with a melee weapon like a knife then after this where you want to go is just behind this boat just beside the stadium you'll be able to get a pillar that requires you to get headshots and when you get these headshots you will unlock this shooting range item then go over to i8 on the map and you'll be able to complete the ammo mod pillar essentially here there's tombstones around this pillar and whatever is around the ring so whatever color it is it will be the ammo mod you need to get the kills with once that's completed you'll be able to unlock the mirror and then after you have all these items you want to go back outside of the game so essentially complete this whole objective and then go back into the game with the exact same items and now you need to upgrade those three so first we're going to upgrade the mirror and go to h3 on the normal urzikstan map first you want to find this exact tombstone and and once you activate it essentially putting in a mirror into it you will have the exact same challenge you did to first unlock the mirror you will have tombstones in the back over here and once you activate them they will give you a specific ammo mod in case you don't have it and all you need to do is kill three zombies they're glowing different things make sure that the purple zombie it is for dead wire if you're wondering the other one is for cryo freeze and napalm blast once they're killed they will drop an upgraded version of the mirror from here we're gonna quickly run over to the shooting range from here what you want to put down is the actual target shooting thing and you need to shoot different targets around the place they're actually really easy to find but there is one just behind like around the corner where you would have put it down so if you're facing that way and then right behind you if you are facing towards the direction that we just did it and once you do this a zombie will spawn in kill that zombie and you will be able to get an upgraded version of this item and lastly the place that we want to go to is a boxing place so go over to f8 on the map and here you will find the boxing club thing and what you want to do is put down the gloves here it'll just give you the prompt and then go over to these three different boxing bags punch them from left to right doesn't matter what speed and then go back into the boxing rink because a special zombie will spawn in and essentially just beat it up and kill it from here you have all of the upgraded items now run over to the brand new like ether storm that showed up in tier 3 and place all of those items down once you do this and mimic will spawn in so make sure if you have friends kill it really fast before it obviously kills you and this will allow you to get an ether sigil now i recommend for you to exfil and jump back in fully upgrade it because you want to hop back into the dark ether with this brand new portal that opened up with this special sigil and once you're in here there are three different locations that bunnies will be spawning and you'll essentially be able to complete three different contracts to get acquisitions of these items so the first one will be located to your right inside of this building. You can see it here on your map. You can also hear the bunnies. So if you're ever wondering where they are, so you can just try to hear them. But if you're specifically looking for this one, it is right here inside of this kitchen on this table. And this one will be a bounty. It can probably differ through different ones. The one that I got in this game was just a mangler one. So once you kill it, you'll be able to get an acquisition and just a completion towards exfil then what you want to do is go over on top of this building on top of the roof there's another bunny this one will spawn in an outlast objective which is also super easy surprisingly in this and last one is in the mall to get on top of the mall it is a bit complicated so i'm just going to quickly fast forward you want to jump onto some boxes then jump onto the roof then once you're on top of the roof you kind of have to maneuver through like a secret path and then jump onto the top because it is at the very peaky top and this one will spawn in a rocket objective you just have to blow up three different rockets with a bunch of zombies spawning in but once that's done you can now exfil and the exfil location is right here on the map as i'm showing it to you there's probably multiple other ones but this is the one that we use the most and once you exfil you basically have that completed but probably during that run you should have gotten an elder god sigil so what you want to do is jump back into a game again fully upgrade probably have some friends because you only have 15 minutes to unlock the actual schematic another thing to quickly mention there's a small chance that you might be able to get all the schematics there's some people that say they only got one there's some people that say they got two thankfully we got three 
three inside of this game, which is super lucky. So we got one schematic per objective, but it's the exact same thing. Once you hop in, you have to activate the portal on a different side. Just do bear that mind. You have 15 minutes now to quickly complete it. And this time around, a mega abomination will spawn in instead of the bounty, but everything else stays the exact same and just do the exact same thing, just super fast and try to complete it with ease. It shouldn't be too difficult. It surprisingly is more easier than season one's challenges. That is how you get the brand new schematics inside of the game. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to subscribe, be sure to drop a like on the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.